All right, guys, so I'm going to be starting out with the breads. Um, I bought these hamburger rolls from Kroger and um, they are actually very soft. And I find that they don't go as go bad as quick as some of the other hamburger um, bun name brands out there and stuff like that. So I love these. My husband and I will actually be eating some veggie burgers these days. So I got that for one of our lunch meals. Um, I bought some of Kroger's honey wheat bread. I really like to make a uh, homemade French toast. And so um, I usually have one pack of bread for that and then another bread just for random sandwiches like tuna fish or something of that nature. Um, the next thing that I have um, are these ultra thin pizza crusts. And I love to buy these because I kind of use it for sort of like a Florentine flatbread. If you don't know what that is, it's kind of like a pizza with no sauce. So these taste really good. Depending on how much or how little you eat, this is perfect for, um, you know, like a midday snack uh, or, you know, it could be a dinner meal, whatever you want. I, like I said, I love them. And so I buy them all the time. The next thing that I have, um, one of my dinner meals is going to be homemade pizza. Um, I do have a video on my channel that I will link in the top right hand corner or in the description box so that you guys can go ahead and watch that because that is exactly what I'll be making with this. Um, Kroger's original crust usually does very well in the oven at high heat and so that's why I buy that instead of um, some other brands that they have. Um, the next thing I have is just some sugar these days you know i'm running low on that um also i'm for one of my dinner meals is going to be shrimp fried rice um coming up pretty soon and with that instead of just having plain rice i like to throw in these chicken flavored rice packs by Noor. and so these are really good um if you'd like to personally flavor your rice yourself then good for you but sometimes it's just a lot easier for me to just throw this in there so i can get the flavor that i'm already looking for um, so I love those and they're so cheap. They're only a dollar each. So I usually buy a few of them every time I go grocery shopping. Um, if you guys didn't know, I'm not a coffee lover. I am a hot chocolate lover. And so I literally drink hot chocolate almost every morning. So um, I buy these mini marshmallows from Kroger just to throw in there. Um, also buy some Kool-Aid. Can't really go wrong when you want some something sweet to drink. I also purchased these um, packets from Kroger and um, this one is obviously as you can see the iced tea with lemon I really like to kind of make my own twist on that so I'll put the packet in the pitcher with water and then I'll throw in some um, some I'll squeeze some lemon juice in there and then I'll cut up some strawberries and put a whole bunch of other stuff in there so it can kind of taste like a homemade drink so that's why I buy those packets um, I will be making shrimp and grits for breakfast sometime soon so I had to restock on that I like to buy the old-fashioned ones rather than the ones that say five minute because they cook so much better than the stove um, for a lunch idea, my husband and I will be having um, some tuna fish sometime soon. I haven't had that in a while, so I had to pick up some of those. Um, I want to show you guys um, what I eat for lunch because some of my lunch ideas are kind of like, not saying nobody else out there in the world eats what I eat for lunch, but I try to be crafty sometimes for lunch because I'm not really a heavy eater. So sometimes this ends up being more like what someone else would call a snack. But anyway, um, I do have sardines and crackers sometimes. And so I like to try different flavors. So this one is, um, the lightly smoked one this one is the louisiana hot sauce and then i usually just buy two packs of the plain ones in water so that's that that's usually like i said some of my lunch ideas um one of my dinner ideas is going to be broccoli cheese soup which i also have a uh tutorial on my channel showing you guys how I make that and so I use um organic chicken broth for that and it's fat free if you're one of those people like that like to watch you know certain things um I got me some sour cream I am a sour cream lover so every time I go to the grocery store I buy sour cream whether I felt like I need it or not I still get it because that's just something that I love um I also picked up a couple of strawberries like I just mentioned um when I make those drinks um, the iced tea drinks, I usually cut up fresh strawberries and put them in there. But otherwise, this is kind of like my snack for the day. Or when I make my smoothies in the morning time, I always have to have strawberries on hand. Um, my husband and I, like I said, will be having some vegetarian burgers. So I like to put um, melt Swiss cheese over them. That tastes um, definitely amazing. So as far as um, I got my produce going on here, so um, I have these bananas. I don't really care for fresh bananas. <laughs> um, I will usually throw them in a smoothie or something of that nature, but my husband likes to eat them, so I bought them for him. Um, I have some broccoli clowns for my broccoli cheese soup. Um, I have some shredded lettuce because one of my another one of my dinner menus is going to be 
um, kind of like home style chipotle bowls and so i got some shredded lettuce for that because i usually don't like to chop up lettuce for that kind of dish it's just easier just to throw um lettuce that's already shredded up um and got me some grapes i love kroger's red grapes i usually don't buy any other um kind it's usually this the same one the red seedless ones um, I got me some cheese. Kroger had cheese on sale. You could buy four of them and you would pay $6 for the four. So I got some Kobe Jack cheese, some Parmesan cheese. I got some mozzarella cheese and I got another uh, pack of Kobe Jack cheese because that's the cheese that I prefer for most of my meals um so the next thing i got is half and half um i use half and half for so many things um one thing would be for the broccoli cheese soup i put half and half in there another thing is for um the grits that's sitting right next to it when i make shrimp and grits i use half and half and then also like i told you guys i am a hot chocolate lover so i pretty much drink hot chocolate almost every day and i add half and half to it so um, the next thing that I got here um, are these black beans. I have these black beans because I will be making quesadillas. And so with that being said, I use black beans in my quesadillas. I have some um, tomato sauce for a lasagna that I'm going to be making pretty soon. Um, what else do I have here? I have a head of lettuce. That's going to be what we need for our vegetarian burgers. I have some avocados for the chipotle bowls. Um, can never really go wrong with having a... A head of garlic. Um, I have some turkey pepperonis. Um, I'm pre I'm meat free, but my husband is not. So when I make um, the pizza dish that we will have, homemade pizza, I usually put turkey um, pepperonis on his side of the pizza. So I got some of those for him. Got some onions here. Can't go wrong. Onions pretty much go in everything for me. Also got some green onions. I use green onions for uh, tuna fish. I put green onions in my eggs. I put green onions in my shrimp and grits. <laughs> I use green onions for everything. So every time I go to the grocery store, I buy green onions. Um, I have some carrots here for my broccoli cheese soup, but also for some dinners, I, for example, if I have a, like, for example, uh, sometimes I'll eat eat rice with um, some sort of a vegetable and some form of a meat which would be normally vegetarian because I am meat free um, I will just cut up carrots and saute them and those are really great to have as a side um, I got my husband some hot dogs he's been craving hot dogs for some reason lately so had to pick up those for him if you guys have been watching my channel, you would know that I use Boca Veggie Crumbles for literally everything as my meat replacement since I am meat free. Um, and so this would be for when I make my vegetarian lasagna. These are, this is the soy meat that I'm going to be using. Um, but otherwise on my channel, I've showed you guys how to make a um, vegetarian or a meatless pasta. And this is the meat that I used for that. So go ahead and check that out if you will. Um, these are the vegetarian burgers that my husband and I will be enjoying. This is by Morning Star, and I usually buy only the Grillers Original. That is my favorite kind that they make. Um, for the Chipotle bowls, we will be throwing in some of these meatless chicken strips. These are delicious. So if you're one of those meat-free people or you just like to try meat-free meals, um, soy meat is an alternative. And I think that Morning Star and Boca are two great, reputable, and delicious um, brands to buy from. Um, I also had a craving to go with the vegetarian burger, some french fries, but my husband doesn't really like french fries. So I thought that we could try out some sweet potato. Um, what do you call these? Sweet potato tots and see how he likes that instead. I actually love them, so I decided to try out um, these Alexia ones. So we'll let you guys know how that tastes. Um, I got myself some um, vegetable oil. That's pretty much all I cook with. I have some crackers going on here for my sardines and crackers, snack, lunch, whatever. Um, I, this is the lasagna that I will be, the lasagna noodles that I will need for my veggie lasagna. And I got some russet potatoes. So these are kind of one of those things that you should always have some form of potatoes in your house if you actually like them. Because you could do so many different things with them. You can cut them up and make them into french fries or potato wedges. Um, you can um, cut them into circles and saute them in the pan. That goes great with breakfast. Um, I actually love loaded potatoes. So loaded baked potatoes is pretty much what I buy them for. 
there's just so many things that you can do with them. So I would say that this is definitely something that's super cheap that you can buy and make several meals out of. And then last but not least, I have these Roma tomatoes. I usually buy about five or six every time I go to the grocery store because I love tomatoes. And I just cut them up and use them in everything. So this is pretty much it for this grocery haul. Um, normally, since it's just me and my husband, I always have a goal of spending at least um no at most one hundred dollars every time i go grocery shopping and i would say our groceries probably last um maybe about a couple of weeks so i wouldn't say that we run our groceries that fast but i also wouldn't say that we keep our groceries forever so. but yeah so this is what all i got for 96 dollars um I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you watched the whole thing. Let me know in the comment section below what your grocery budget is and what you typically spend every time you go grocery shopping. And I will see you guys in the next video.